Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Fred Chamberlain here, and we are on the Dual Boot series, where we show you how to set up your computer to boot from multiple operating systems. That's right, you can select it when you turn on your computer. Now for those of you who are following this series so far, I'm not going to continue to repeat myself, and what I need to tell you guys to do is if you haven't seen my previous episodes, you have to go through each one of these step by step, unless you absolutely know what you're doing with the Partition Manager and you want to start somewhere in between, but I'm going to go ahead and go ahead with this episode. First thing you want to do is open the ESUS Partition Master, and we have this unallocated space that we've created in the previous episode for our new operating system. And it shows it up here. Just go ahead and right click on it and click Create. And what we're going to do is create a partition for our new operating system. I'm going to go ahead and label this Vista because it's Windows Vista that's going to be installed on this. And I'm going to go ahead and select Primary because you don't want it to be a logical drive if it's going to be a, from a bootable operating system. In order to have an operating system installed on a partition, it has to be a primary partition. Now, this makes it hidden from your other partitions. So, uh, just don't worry about that right now. Choose NTFS, because that's the file system for Windows Vista. And then, uh, drive letter, make sure you don't choose anything between A and H. I like to leave those for Windows Plug and Play. Typically, go down here and choose something after, like Q or R. I'm going to choose V, since it's Vista. Cluster size, leave default, and I'm going to use all the space on this hard drive for my new operating system. So let me go ahead and select OK. <clears throat> this is going to show you the changes it's going to make. The changes have not been made yet. It's highlighted in pink up here. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner, and we're going to select Apply. And mine says two operations because I just deleted my partition and recreated it because I had a video issue before. But yours will say one operation, and it has to shut down. Just click Yes. And uh, it'll restart, and you'll have your new partition created. I'm going to show you here in a second. And I have rebooted, and this is what it looks like. I have uh, my primary partition here, which is my C drive, which is where Windows XP is installed on. And if I scroll over here, I have a Vista hard drive, which is the drive letter V, which I will be installing my new operating system on. And that's all there is for this episode. Leave comments and ratings, and uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, that helps me out and uh, makes me look better to YouTube because eventually I will apply for partnership, and I will never charge you guys for any of these services because it's just way too much fun. Thanks again.